Kansans react to a controversial decision in Washington on marijuana. Why some legal experts say the president's move could inspire the state to give some criminals a second chance. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 43 News at 9. I'm Denisha Richard. Some people in Kansas are welcoming President Biden's move to pardon minor marijuana crimes. He's also calling on state governors to take action. 27 News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung tells us where the Kelly administration stands and what impact this could have in the state. Well, the Kelly administration says they'll continue to consider pardon requests based on individual cases. Still, the president's sweeping move to forgive federal offenses is a major step that could have a ripple effect. Releasing inmates across the District of Columbia and then asking governors across the United States to do the same. It's what needs to be done. Jason Todak, the owner of CBD American Shaman in the state's capital city, says many people use marijuana or CBD to self medicate. These are grandmothers, grandparents, these are moms with children with. Uh, autism. The war on drugs ain't a war on drugs. It's a war on people. Kansas has not okayed a mass pardon. However, the administration is continuing to review requests on a case by case basis. But legal experts say Biden's move could inspire states to give second chances. That model could maybe help us find some other easier solutions than one at a time paperwork to give people a second chance. Despite calls for action from marijuana advocates in the state, Kansas has yet to legalize it in any form. Right now, lawmakers will be meeting ahead of next year's session to work on a medical marijuana bill, with some Kansans hoping it will finally move forward. You want to see this state change in tax revenue, help Kansans across the board, vote yes. Let's get medical marijuana in here, and let's start working towards recreational. Now, Kelly will be facing off with Republican nominee Derek Schmidt in November. As for where Schmidt stands on Biden's move, we reached out to his team, but we have not heard back. For now, reporting at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.